In this tutorial, we'll configure Duo MFA for the JumpCloud user portal. You must have a tenant and admin account with Duo before you can proceed with this video, and users must be registered and active in both Duo and JumpCloud. Get started by logging into both the admin portals for JumpCloud and Duo. Within the JumpCloud admin portal, navigate to the Security Management menu on the left and click MFA Configurations. Here you'll see the different options you can enable for your organization. JumpCloud's TOTP configuration is enabled by default. Be aware, users that have Duo enabled will also need to enroll in JumpCloud's TOTP MFA. To enable Duo MFA for the user portal, simply click the slider. To enable the trust between Duo and JumpCloud, you'll need to create a web SDK app within Duo and copy the three fields into JumpCloud's admin portal, the integration key, secret key, and API hostname. Within my Duo tenant, we'll configure a brand new Duo web SDK app that we'll use for the JumpCloud configuration. Navigate to the Applications tab on the left-hand side. Click Protect an Application in the top right. Search for Web SDK, then click Protect this application. This will create a new web application which we'll use to configure for JumpCloud. Presented are the three fields we need in order to create the handshake and trust between JumpCloud and Duo. Scroll down to the bottom of the page under the Settings pane and change the name to something akin to JumpCloud User Portal. Scroll back up to the top of the configuration page and copy the integration key, secret key, and API hostname from Duo's admin portal into the JumpCloud admin portal for Duo MFA. Hit Save in both Duo and in JumpCloud's admin portal to save the configuration. Now you can configure custom policies within Duo, but in this use case, I'm going to leave everything default. In order to fully leverage Duo and JumpCloud, you'll need to ensure that users exist in both JumpCloud and Duo to enforce MFA appropriately. Jumping over to the Users menu in the Duo tenant, we can see that Bob Fay exists with the username of bob.fay. Taking a look at the JumpCloud admin portal, we see that Bob Fay's username is also bob.fay. In order for Duo authentication to work appropriately, ensure that the username in both Duo and JumpCloud are the same. Now that we've enabled Duo MFA for JumpCloud, let's take a look through the eyes of our user, Bob Fay. Logging into the user portal as Bob, we see that there is now a prompt for which MFA we'd like to choose. In this case, we'll choose Duo and hit Next. A new pane appears asking the user if they'd like a push notification, phone call, or a passcode from the Duo app. We'll select the push method and hit the button Send Me a Push. Now, on Bob's device, on the right-hand side, we'll see there's a notification asking for actions to be taken from Duo. We'll accept the Duo push notification, and we can see that Bob is now authorized to access JumpCloud's user portal for his SAML applications, profile, and security settings. And that's it! For more information, check out our other tutorials and knowledge base articles for more details.